What's up YouTube, it's your boy the Black Axis, and here I am bringing some more Smite gameplay. Today I'm rocking out with Cupid Carry Left Lane. I got a special guest here. His name is... Jesus Christ! And he out here playing Neath in a solo lane position. We about to wreck shit. Let's get it done. <laughs> Third time's the charm, bro. Third time's the charm. Yeah. Let's not talk about that hidden fourth time. The hidden fourth time. <laughs> Hopefully, it don't gotta be a fourth time. <laughs> I'd be heated. Yeah, I'd be heated. Every audio's coming in right. I had to turn around and see if the audio's coming in right. That's dope. Alright, that's, that's going in well. That's going in well. Everything's so far. Everything seems like it's going out well. But so so was last time. Yeah. We had the Skype trouble. <laughs> it just got Maybe for you. You didn't accidentally pick Freya. <laughs> hey. I mean, at least you have support this time. Cobra Kana is like... I don't... What is, what is he doing? Like... <laughs> come on, Cobra. Like, get that nigga over here. Yeah. Okay, is he coming over? No, he's not. He's... Yo, fuck. Yo, am I done? <laughs> Oh well. All right, fuck it. We go hard. Go hard to go home. Last gate or last time? Well, actually, not the last time. The first time, I had on my business by myself. I don't need that nigga. He's a sellout. And as you know, and Black Ops Three comes out at the end of this week. We had this conversation so many fucking times. How do you feel about Black Ops? We've 3? had this conversation too many times. <laughs> I need to fall back off three. <laughs> three. Keyword is three. Three. Yeah, the keyword is three. It only took you three times to get it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, you was throwing hella shade. <laughs> okay, yo. I think I bit off more than I got you. <laughs> I got to. <laughs> Okay, yep. I've been off one. I keep bleeding, Mom. Help! Help left lane! Help left lane! Help Your left middle lane. tower is under attack. Really? I'm about to say, please, somebody we have a mid Help at least. Why the fuck is. Why is Thor and Kumber Connor over there? What the, what the fuck? Fuck y'all. How would that nigga die? <laughs> ah, shit, anyway. As I, was, as I was saying before, you were trying to throw some shade. Because they know right lane's the cool lane. Shut the fuck up. Your left tower is under attack. Before you threw shade at me, I, we were talking about Black Ops 2. How do you feel about Black Ops 2? In general, how do you feel about its release? I feel like it's going to be a good game. For the third time? It's going to be... <laughs> feels like it's going to be a better version of Advanced Warfare. I mean, and they're gonna do it right this time. It's the it's the third time that we've seen the movement in, in this type of game here. We first time we seen it was in Titanfall. The second time we seen it was in uh, Advanced Warfare, and now we're gonna have it in Black Ops Three. Right, thank from God. what from what gameplay I've seen in the beta, it seems almost to be a combination of Advanced Warfare and Titanfall. It's, it's yeah, in, in my opinion, it does like with Titanfall and with Advanced Warfare. Um, when they get right, it takes that, and then it kind of tweaks off of what it gets wrong. You know, it, it, it from I actually played the beta. I was lucky enough to play the beta. Um, and when I actually played it, like I didn't have an Xbox One at the time. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. And from that, um, shit, my almost death. Maybe lose my train of thought. What about say? Oh yeah, from that, it was it was smooth. It was real smooth. Like the entire game was really really smooth. Um, the movements and everything like that like. It, it was solid like I could feel myself when I was j jumping off of walls and shit uh, transitioning it was way more smoother than Titanfall which was actually Titanfall was smoother than Advanced Warfare in my opinion and so they it was. took that uh, took that kind of formula and tweaked it to the point where it could be really successful I had no choice no I really really do need help here do I gotta come help left lane? I mean, you could. Cause obviously Kumbra Khan is being a dickhead. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure he called like he called support in his shit too though. That's what really makes me mad. The fact that he called support <laughs> and he over there. <laughs> I don't think he gets it yet. He doesn't. Oh, Poseidon's coming out to be a. He coming out to be real. He's got a double kill. Actually, he really shit for that. I mean, I don't. I'm not put the Poseidon is the one that I want because he, he can only help me momentarily. You know what? Thor just became a solo. <laughs> If he had a mic, I'd tell him, but he's just gonna have to learn the hard way. <laughs> Rip. Well, at least that's gonna be good for him because he gets the far. Probably we look at it. I need to go get this buff here. I fear, I feel like they're gonna go. They're gonna try to fight. It. I need to get this before I die. Before they come. Do you need a gank? Me. You could. I, only, only me right now. As far as my knowledge, is only me. And I'm over here actually getting this buff. But. Okay, he's coming for you. Look oh, out! Yes. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Shit! Shit! Alright, we good, we good. We got handled the situation. Okay, you're not good. You didn't get it. You got handled. I couldn't back away quick enough. Shit, okay. This next. Damn, we're actually gonna have a tough game for this one. This, uh, at least I'm gonna have a tough game. Shit, it might even be a bad game, but I'm not. I'll, I'll be damned if I'm not. It's recording. about to be Neath against Neath. I'll be dead if I gotta record again, so fuck that shit. <laughs> I'll, even if I do terrible, I'm still uploading this shit. I'll be damned. <laughs> Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Hey, man, that, uh, what's his name? Fucking J. Cole shit. That was actually a far more popular reference before the song. You, like, you, you kill Neath with her own shit. Hey, at least you get that. Like, it was supposed to be mine, but, you know, I died before you can get, before we got here, so fuck it. Shit happens. Fuck it. Damned if you do. Where are you going, Ymir? She knows. She knows. God damn, she knows. Oh, she knows. Alright, let's talk about... I mean, so, well, no, 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 no. I still got something else I want to say about Black Ops Zombies. We're both fans of the Zombies series. Um, Very large fans. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of a lot of content on this channel for zombies and you're going to be featured in a lot of it. Almost every single one of it. <laughs> you're going to be fucking featured in it anyway. So it's like, so are you, so that big said, you're, we, we didn't really sleep excited. for like a week when Mob of the Dead came out, hey, so. Exactly. Like that big said, I know you're excited for it. Um, you're excited for more of the giant versus yeah. Shadow's Evil, right? Okay. Can I have your reasoning for that? Your middle tower is under attack. Um, because. It's been a long time since Dyrese was out. And I'd be glad to see them revisiting, revisiting the map that I know was already good in the first place. Hmm, I will get back so to it's, that topic. It, I, it's guaranteed. Yeah. Something. So, in, in that sense, in that sense that it, because it's guaranteed, you see, so you feel like. At that level, I you, feel like there is, there is a chance that it could be not as good as we think it is. So you're holding it to an expectation. Yes. So basically, you're destiny. Yeah. No, there's a difference. <laughs> I planned against destiny. I didn't play the beta this time, so the beta won't end up being as good as the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, fuck, 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 no, we... Fuck. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck me. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're, good. we're, we're golden. We are golden. Oh, boy. fuck, I'm not good. We're golden, boy, boy, you better take a heart, you better take a heart, nigga. Heart, heart, heart. 
Oh, she knows. Don't fight it. Uh, I tried to, I tried to block that for you, but that didn't work. Damn. Damn. Doubled. Yo. <laughs> I told you, I'm uploading. If I don't fucking care, I'm uploading this one no matter what. I don't. I'll show highlights of the other ones. Fuck it. I'm uploading this. <laughs> I'm uploading this. I don't care. <laughs> it looks care. enough alike. I bet you they won't even notice if you just edit it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's the same people already, for the most part. I already died three times. <laughs> and the other game, I didn't die at all. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what the problem. That is therein is where the problem lies, right there. This is how the world dies, Cortana. <laughs> anyway, okay. All right, but I say, um, do you think that because they were visiting? Uh, Doris, do you think they're, they're gonna be revisiting other previous maps too? Like Varuk, maybe Shinonuma? I mean, we've already seen Kino. We've already seen a revisit of Kino. It's something that we've already seen. Well, technically, they revisited all the maps, or remade all the maps in Black Ops for more of War. Oh my fucking god. You will return Trash. So, I actually feel like they'll have enough content to do that again at the end of Black Ops 3, where they'll come out with maybe another set of all the uh, Zombies DLC with, like, up-the-code graphics and gameplay. So you think it's going to be, like, every single Zombies map? Like, from at Not some point, Toten to up until Origins? Yes. And you think that's gonna be on Black Ops Three, like the most, the next iteration? Is that and that's your call for Final DSC. Yeah, we, we gotta hear. It. And you heard it. You heard it here. The Final DSC, or the Final DLC, the Final DLC, will be every single Zombies map. It's like Resurrection, but better. <laughs> you heard. You heard that here fo first, folks. You don't, no, don't let nobody take credit for that shit. That was us. <laughs> this man, Jesus Christ, said that shit. Bert. Okay, all right, okay. Need has the back. Need, need, to get, need to get that trademarked. <laughs> at least that nigga on our team is doing like, good as shit. Like, I'm no trash. At least he's doing it. I respect that. I know I know some YouTubers, um, Johnny J on YouTube actually, well, he had a video saying that how he thinks that we're going to get a moon, ah oh shit, a moon uh, mm. remake for the very... Next DLC, DLC uh, 1. He says he's going to think it's going to be a moon remake. And part of that's something that you saw in the trailer for uh, 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 the gameplay trailer for Shell. You actually saw like a kind of like a clip of a new. And it was really fast. Like it was fast. Like you have to pause the video and look at it at like a tenth of a frame or something like that. And like if you saw it, like you could see like a new moon loading screen when things are changed. Like, like I can't remember everything that he said it was different, but like the one of the things that was different is the uh, the, the Wonder Why was like, not the Wonder, the Thunder Gun. It wasn't on that page, and he was saying that maybe that's because it never existed in this alternate timeline that he's suggesting. And and that's the kind of thing that I'm. Producing. And we do see them going back. We do see the younger Richtofen going. I guess it'd be into the future. Yeah. In the uh, the giant, uh, trailer, I guess. So that could mean that there's going to be a new timeline, like starting from Origins, where they go through and try to stop what happened throughout, like, Black Ops and World at War. Hey, so... Do you, do you think that that's going to um, that they're going to actually incorporate the old one into the new one, or do you think this is going to be just completely like we're racing this one completely? We we're starting from scratch. Rick Toffin killing uh, older Rick Toffin was the, was that that was the the end all be all. We're starting from scratch completely with the story now. Like that what you're, is that what you're telling me? No, I feel like it's not gonna it's not gonna be that easy. Like they're gonna. Like, I can see there being an entire story based off, like, maybe they have to kill Rickhoff and Loom like, every map or something of the sort. I mean, I don't... Like, they'll, they'll add, like, 
they'll build on older maps besides just remake them. I don't know about you, but for some reason, I don't want to play another version of uh, Shino. Not Shino. Nice. Not, what's the other shit? I hate it. Fucking Shangri La. I don't want to play another version of Shangri La. Like, I don't know about you. <laughs> don't really want to do that one. I would I would imagine like if they could, and then I would imagine like oh shit I'm fucked. If there if there's like another timeline like what you're suggesting, if there is another timeline, let's see if I could just just now fuck. I was gonna see if I could use that to start. At, uh, but uh, I was what what, what, what was I saying? 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 Do we still have to say spoilers for Origins? No, 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 no. Come on now, Origins been out for how long? Well, at the end of Origins, we see that. These universes could all be just made up universes in the game between Samantha and Richthoff and when they're actually Yo, children. Don't say that shit to me. <laughs> so maybe the alternate timelines are just alternate turns. Cause if we think about it, at the end of it, she did she say that uh tomorrow is your turn, Eddie, or something like that? Yeah. So maybe 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 Rick Coffin isn't the bad guy and, that we know him to be. Then, she made him the bad exactly. guy. Exactly. And then that's how, yo, that's actually a really good idea in a sense. And that, like, you're like going back to like the, 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 the Toy Story, I'm stuttering and shit. Going back to the toy, the toy, the Toy Story, the Toy Theory. There we go. <laughs> going back to the Toy Theory. If you think, if you actually think about it in a sense, Rick Top or Samantha says that um, it's going to be uh, his turn tomorrow, and that her dad has a plan. It's like we're okay. So we established that okay, the his turn could be the uh, Black Ops Three, him, you know, trying to fix everything. But where does my dad have a plan coming? What does that fit into this? Hello, you heard you heard that? I, I don't know. I'm thinking. Okay. I don't know. Cause I think that no comment. I think that's actually something like a major part. Like a major, like kind of integral part, cause I mean, she obviously is not saying that for no reason. He fucked up. Behind you. So obviously it's like now nah, when I say behind you, I'm talking about the hearts. Ah. Uh. I, I obviously that's gonna be something that's you know really really integral into the whole game, into the whole plot line. And as we know, this fucking game has a really confusing plot line. It's really, really like intricate, and like you gotta bring pay attention to almost everything to really understand. understand it. I'm actually interested to see how the timeline goes. Just by, I think they've kind of screwed themselves by a. They're gonna have to like null void some story. Either the they're either gonna say origins has nothing to do with the actual like. But origins is supposed to be a pre timeline. Or that like An enemy has left the game. Origins was true and then they're just gonna everything we know is gonna be Samantha's turn and we're gonna get an entirely different t timeline to relearn. Good game. Word, word, word. Um So two things real quick. Something's gotta change. Alright, before I actually we get back into that, I didn't plan on this to end so early. Um <laughs> I kind of wanted to have at least a 30 minute long discussion because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call this a podcast. How about, how about some arena? Right, yeah, let's say, let's say an arena. Let's do an arena then. All right. Um, and go, go back, go, go back and finish up what you were saying. I was saying that like somewhere Treyarch is fucked up in the zombie story and with the release of Black Ops 3, we're going to see where. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, either origins did it or did not happen. That's what you're saying, basically. Yes. But what they're what they were saying is that origins is before die or not die rise. Uh, the giant, because origins is like uh, somehow from at origins they get to that point where they can like, I guess discuss and like try to figure out how to stop. Whatever they started. And the thing was, what it, it seemed like all of the characters besides like Richtofen knew 
that Richtofen was going to step out of the time machine and shoot the current Richtofen. Because he said that the like they all seemed to plan for that to happen. So actually, didn't he? I mean, didn't they not want that to happen though? Like, didn't they say this the third time or something like that? Because they say that we done it. Maybe it was, they were just acting along because. I think it was all just like some plan to kill that Rick Coffin or something. Mm. Or to get the future Rick Coffin. To bring the past Rick Coffin to the present. Yes. Because like the past Rick Coffin was pure and he, he knows he, he what's wrong and he wants to fix it. My thing, what do you think? I, if We're going <laughs> to record Dasek in this trailer now. That's dope. Um. In the, in the very first trailer for it, it said, uh, Takio was like, I think it was Takio, he said that you had to awaken the test subjects. Which is, I find that interesting, because when I'm thinking about, like, the test subjects, when I, when I think about who they could be, I, I think of them, themselves, in the, you know, in the in that present, in nineteen in like World War II, in 1940. So that's why I'm thinking, like, the test subject, why would he want to awake themselves, unless, unless it's for more firepower, but they don't know anything. At that point, Rick Toffin can weave them and make them do whatever they want. So it's like, what 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 is the what is the goal? Is that to send them onto their journey so that maybe something can have like maybe they can trigger an event like everything was on okay until Moon and in my opinion for the zombie time like Moon was when you really when it, everything really shut down. Moon was where you know Rick Toffin got in control of the pyramid and Samantha you know lost control of the zombies. That's that happened in Moon. So I'm thinking like maybe they want everything to go up until that point and that's when they want to change it and that's why they want the the test subjects, as they call themselves, to be awakened, or maybe the test subjects are somebody else, and I'm just like really overthinking into it. I, I I don't have an idea. I just throwing out throwing out an idea there. But I do think as a good enough time that we spent on this particular subject. I know you wanted to cover Fallout 4, so let's. I'll let you introduce you and segue into that Fallout 4 because I don't. I was like, I've won on the records by saying on my one of my videos that I've never actually played a real Fallout but game besides New Vegas, and I didn't have a good huh. time with it. Well, it's gonna be awfully hard to talk about it then. No, no, I will. I can go like, off of other things. Like, ask, me, I've ask seen. me some questions about you know, Fallout games, I guess. Okay, well, what are you, are you? Obviously, you're hyped for this Fallout game, but like, yeah. Okay, so my thing about I guess is that, and I don't, I don't really know anything about the story of Fallout. So, what do, what do you think? Fallout 4 will go like is it going to leave off of 3 like I don't know what happened in the Fallout 3 so I was like should I, should I go play there, Fallout 3 none of the Fallouts have really had the same storyline so, they're all in the same universe per se so Final Fantasy S I guess uh not, not, not anything about Final Fantasy some Final Fantasy are in the same universe what you talking about alright basically they, I get what you're saying okay they they're not the same story, but they're the same timeline. And it's not the same timeline, same universe, like you said. Like, yeah. So it is kind of like the Final Fantasy XIII series. They all happen in the same timeline, but they're not the same. Go <laughs> so, so you're telling me right now that I don't really need to play any of the. the one no. I to get the story, no. Okay. To be like familiar with it, with like what's going on, or not, not what's going on, but like how everything works. Yes. Okay, so like everything still works the same. So should I? Is the question. You should, but you don't have to. You'll still learn like the same thing. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. My thing, okay, another question about, uh, I guess, is I'm told that it's literally like Skyrim with guns. And you know I'm a huge fan of Skyrim. So how, how close is Fallout to that uh, simile? It's not. It's not. I, I don't agree. I've heard the statement before, but I do not agree with it. Simply because there's Skyrim has a more... There's more differences within your character build than there would be in a Fallout. All right, can you, go, can you go on, like, the details then, I guess? Like, you would have, like, entire different classes of, say, in a Skyrim game, or Elder Scrolls, than 
you would in a Fallout because you're basically you are a standard human and you're just editing how good that human is at doing things instead of like this class can do this and this class can do that. You can do you could do everything, but not up to like the same par as some other one as another build. Okay, okay. So basically you're talking about like leveling up the way you level up your character really it really adds to the uh uh i guess the experience it really it really changes how you are and that's what varies you have a more personal play. connection with your character why do you say that because you could build a character to be like say you think you're smart not a uh, you're smart, you're good with people, but you're not really that athletic. Or, like, you're really athletic, but you're not that smart. Like, you can choose if you want to be, like, a, a kind of a nerd character or, like, just, like, a brute force kind of character. It's... It's just different style of player edit. Or in character builds. Like, they're not even really comparable. Okay, well, that's, that's actually a fair enough, uh, fair enough answer to that. As far as, as far as, uh, weapon choices, I'm told that there's a lot of, a lot of weapons that you can use. Would you say that there's... Yes. I haven't actually been doing my research about that, but in Fallout 3, would you say that there's more weapons than, like, Borderlands, for example, or less? This is exact. This is just for there's a more variety a more of weapons variety. in because in Borderlands, I mean, because it's the same as that in weapon. Borderlands, there's a it's like the same with a different name with a different like kind. It's name. like the same kind of gun. Yeah, there's only a different couple, but there's a tons of different kinds of guns in the Fallout. The Fallout. Right? Yeah. Okay. Have you have you? Because that might be in Fallout uh, Four. Uh. I haven't heard of any new ones, but there's your standard, like, laser pistols and laser rifles that shoot, like, laser beams. Then there's the futuristic plasma <laughs> weapons that shoot this, like, energy instead of lasers, which move, like, slower but do more damage. And then there's, like, bullets, guns, like, you, like, an entire Call of Duty arsenal worth of regular guns. And then you have the futuristic weapons. Okay. So that's like a basically that's a lot that's a lot of player choice, a lot of player customization, yeah. especially when it comes to weapons as well. It's just there's more of this type of weapon is better than this type of weapon, rather than this kind of this weapon is better. Like there'd be more there'd be like 50 different submachine guns in Borderlands while there'd only be like different like different uh like customizations on a submachine gun in Fallout and how worn it is like your weapons deteriorate unlike they would in Uh, Borderlands. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, one, one more thing then, I guess. Well, not one more. I can probably think about the top town. I guess for this instance, I'm about to die. For this instance, um... The way that I said this, I uh, thought about this. Um... One second. Dude, that shit's really escaping my thought. Oh, 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 okay, I remember that. All right, the way Bethesda announced it, like, and just said, okay, well, yeah, we've actually been working on this, blah, 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 blah. It's coming out this year. And a lot of people were, like, taking it back, like, like a game coming out this year, like, the, the year that it was announced. Like, how do you how do you feel about that? Like, when I say how do you feel about that, I mean, do you think that I... There was enough hype for Fallout 4 by, like, people trying to force leaks by releasing like fake content it made enough hype for them to hardly even have to announce it they could have gave it like one or two months to before the for the announcement for the game to come out do you think that all I mean, company, I mean everybody was already know 
we deep down all the real Fallout fans knew that there was going to be a Fallout 4. We just didn't know when, and then a bunch of stuff started coming out, and we all anticipated it to be soon. Okay, that actually, actually makes up big two more questions. Or two more questions actually from that answer. Do you think that they did that themselves? Do you think that they purposely uh, put that there in a sense to try to like you know get that game on a radar? I don't know. If they did, they did it well, and it was a good idea on their part. But I mean, it won't be the first time that it's a been lot of them came to... out as being just fans trying to force regular leaks, I mean, like and for something actual, actually to be announced. They, but it wouldn't be the first time that it's you know, it happened. No. Because Call, I remember Call of Duty did the same thing a while, but I think they ended up making a site about with CIA code. And they tried to figure, like, you can only figure this shot with Mike CIA code, like, if you knew some shit. And niggas and NST actually like, spent time trying to find this shit out and figured out that a new, that, uh, the new Call of Duty is going to be something about CIA and Black Ops and Black Operations. I was like, okay, well, you know, that's, I mean, that, they, they spent really a lot of time with that. And for the longest time, we didn't know who, who, what that site was, what it was trying to say or nothing like that. And here it is, like, this site here is, like, kind of making, oh, I should use my art there. It's kind of making Fallout hype, like, you know, just for Fallout it's, itself. And my, my thing with that is, like, do you really think that, that the corporation or Bethesda, they didn't really have nothing to do with that? I, I, I mean, it's like you said, it's a really good marketing deal. They did it well. And they did it really, like, just extremely well. And it, it is great, great marketing because, like, you know, now everybody hyping shit for a game that might not even exist. It's kind of like the shit with, like, yeah. uh, like Half-Life and shit, like the Half-Life 3. That's never coming out, by the way. But <laughs> okay, right, yeah, we're back here. Keep making, keep making. Oh, well, we're making a slight comeback, I guess. I think we're doing better than we were before. Well, that's okay. Let's not get. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Oh. I guess another thing that I could uh, that I could kind of ask about it is, do you think Bethesda? Do you think Bethesda would stop making Fallout now? Now you think the at the four it's over? It's like at this is the final like tail and well, you said it's not really a score, but this is like the final. I guess leg in it, the tail, tail to tail. I don't think so. I feel like it's been so long since the last one that it's they're just gonna kind of get like almost like an addiction to the limelight, and they'll start like striking while the iron's hot and make a bunch of other games in rapid succession. Okay. So like it's, it's not gonna be like. It might be two or three years before we see another Fallout game. Do you think they're going to fall out six? So you don't think they're going to fall into like the Call of Duty cycle where there's a new Fallout like every year now? Or like a no. like how Assassin's Creed. Or Assassin's Creed. Creed. Yeah. Creed. Uh, how many thoughts that cycle too? Yeah. Okay. So, you, so, you're say, so you're saying that that's not going to I feel like they... I feel like they could start doing that because. But it, it wouldn't help. It, well, I Grand Theft uh, Rockstar has already announced they've been working on another Grand Theft Auto when it took years. Like a lot longer than it has been since 5 came out for them to start working on it or announce they were working on another one. Yeah. Hey, I think I think now in the age of the consumer and stuff like this, people a lot of people want to keep pushing out content. But they got to make sure that content is. Correct. Do you think that Bethesda's uh, content, the Fallout 4, you think that's going to be, it's going to come out ready to play? You think you think that's going to be, I have not been told there's going to be any day one patches yet. I am not aware of that. Do you think that's going to be a day one patch? Do you think that uh, it's going to be buggy and glitchy as hell to the point where we can't play it? Looking at Skyrim, that game is still buggy as hell, but it's fun to play as. Do you think that it's going to be a one of those type of games where it's buggy as hell and still fun to play? The, uh, they have a lot of content and lots of new content that they haven't really done anything with yet before. So I feel like some, some of that will, might be buggy, but I think the regular game is going to be just as good as the old ones are and have hardly any bugs, if any at all. <laughs> 